guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'm going to show you guys this live trade that i'm in um and this is a reaccumulation. i'm just going to be talking about it that's about it and right now if you didn't know i do have a schematic boot camp that covered a lot of topics for free on my website so definitely go check that out so i went over a lot of stuff over there and now we're just going to go over this i'm actually in this trade right now so if this turns around and loses well you know, I hit stop loss, but not stop loss. Right now, I am reduced um, reduced uh, risk. So I'm not at BE because I don't like to BE. I'm at reduced risk, meaning that this distance between my stop loss and where the candle actually went, I am here. Okay? And I have an alert for when we um, come up to here and we made a new high. So I'll tell you guys about this trade and why I took it. So let's go to a blank chart. Okay, cool. So here I really just copied the schematic, okay? So we went over this on the boot camp, like I said, and this is what I noticed. I had these two pushes up with these two pushes down. Two pushes up with these two pushes down. So knowing how reaccumulation works, I threw some labels on it, right? And if you actually have a distro in here, as you guys seen okay so we had a distro so what's market cycle after i think this is actually a redistro no it's a regular it's a redistro so after this redistro then we have an accumulation now this is more of an ascending accumulation right if you read the second version of the wyckoff book you know what that means so we had that situation right there okay so after the distro redistro and then we had an accumulation i'm looking for a reaccumulation you guys sometimes it's not only about okay where's the structure but what's next in the market cycle and what i tell my team is and this is major key is that even if you get on a blank chart today okay so this is where you're looking at you need to back test how you got here you need to look for something in here you need to look for something in here and back test it so don't just scroll left and go back test whatever you need to back test near price action because if you got an accumulation then a reaccumulation then you should be looking for a distribution, but not randomly in a point of interest. So, of course, you guys, I go over all that on my academy. If you guys are struggling with this stuff, I definitely recommend working with a mentor, whether it's me or somebody else. Because if you go into a new year and you've been trading for three months, six months, a year, and you're just going to do the same thing over and over and hope to actually be a profitable Forex trader, ask yourself if that's going to work. But anyways, with that being said, we had this accumulation. So after I seen three drives up, I called that my buying climax. And then after that, my AR, of course, right? And then we had the UA. And then we had the MSAL. Now, to be completely honest, generally speaking, your entry should align with your buying climax. But in this case, it actually aligned with our up thrust. Okay? And... Even though this wasn't my buying climax, this is still trading range alignment. So again, make sure you guys go through the crash course so you know what I'm talking about if you're a little bit lost. This is still trading range alignment. It aligns with one of the elements as well as this is the lowest imbalance. All these other imbalances are filled. This is filled. This is filled. This is the lowest imbalance in the schematic. So to me, this was pretty, pretty clean, pretty easy, pretty plain Jane. And that was literally the trade. Again, if you have a question about how to get a 10 pip or less stop loss, very simple. Entry, stop loss either is going to go here, here, or here. The first two candles, body or wick. Um, I don't even remember what I chose. I have to go look. I think it was an 8.8 or 9.6. Now, in a reaccumulation or a redistribution, your take profit is a little bit hard because it's kind of far left. But you still want to use equal highs or equal lows. And now while editing the end of this video, guys, of course, we are sitting at a take profit and a 1 to 10 TP smashed on AudCat. And that's an 11, which is over 1 to 10, which I know I didn't have. So maybe I did use the wick. No, I didn't. Let's zoom in, make sure I'm accurate. Okay, so that's a 9.2. time frame and that brings us to a 10 
Okay, so like I said, I'm still in this trade. So what was this? A 9.2, what did I actually do? 10.1, so a different time frame. But this is how easy it can be, guys. It's just about putting all the elements. I know you guys are watching the stop loss video, the accumulation videos, the distribution video, but it's really having that confirmation checklist and having all the moving parts and really working with the team who's gonna keep you accountable for the stuff that you're missing. So I know this is very quick, but hopefully you guys got value. Don't forget to check out my schematic bootcamp on the website, link in bio, and I'll see you guys in the next video.